you're an activist, so if your poetry could change anything, what would you like to, to change about the world if you had one chance? Um, we have become obsessed with these notions that the things that we carry through life uh, are the things that define us as people, but they're not real. The only thing that's real, not accolades, not anything, is how we engage with our fellow human beings. And we've arrived in this very strange space where if some fellow human being asks us for help, rather than responding, we treat them with suspicion. If I could say anything to anybody, it's to encourage empathy, real empathy. There's a horrible fear and ignorance festering in our own cities and towns. And globally, the situation that we've got ourselves in is terrifying. What are you most frightened about? The Third World War. <laughs> like, well, Third World War, probably. What's happening right now? The, what's happening globally? And, What's important to say now is that, as well as that fear, I feel extreme optimism for people and for... Oh, man, it's so hard to say this stuff without sounding like, you know, an idiot. But I'm just... All I can be is honest, John, and uh, a lot of things scare me, but also a lot of things excite me. Welcome to the 2014 oh, Barclay Kate, they're going to be calling, calling you on. They're going to be calling you on. Good luck. Good luck. Now Thanks now very much, Eddie, for talking to us. Great talking to you. I hope you're wearing colourful socks. I am. They're turquoise. See you, girl. See you.